Okay. Uh, the second question of Rami was when people pray and say, Oh Allah Azza wa Jal, grant us the ability to see your face in paradise. Or when someone prays to you and says, May Allah Azza wa Jal allow you to see Allah's face in paradise. Wouldn't this be giving Allah Azza wa Jal attributes of humans? And the answer is no. Allah mentioned Azza wa Jal in his book describing himself a number of attributes that we believe in. So Allah Azza wa Jal tells us in Surah Ar-Rahman, وَيَبَقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is what I call myself and all of my brothers and sisters. Recite the Quran. Get your best knowledge from the Quran. Don't devote five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day to the Quran. No, devote more, an hour, an hour and a half to recite the Quran and to learn what it says at the same time. Now, in the Quran, Surah Al-Rahman, Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Everything will be perished except Allah Azza wa Jal. And here Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to himself by saying that his face will remain, which means Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala, will not perish. He is the first without a beginning and he is the last without an ending. Azza wa Jal. He's the creator of the all, uh, uh, what you see and what you do not see. And he's not created. And he does not die. And he does not have an ending. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed Iblis, Satan. And he told him, what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands? So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. And they are called to prostrate and everyone prostrates except the hypocrites. All the believers would prostrate and the hypocrites will try to prostrate and their back goes one piece and they will be thrown into hell. Allah tells us, about himself subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has an eye the prophet tells us that the prophet has that allah Azza wa Jal has fingers when he says oh allah the hearts are between two of your fingers you flip them as you wish oh allah make my heart steadfast on your religion and so on these attributes one would say Akhi, this is similar to humans how can we say this to allah as i say i seek allah's forgiveness So I would say to those who claim this, Akhi, this word is known, but the meaning is different. When I say that an elephant has a leg and I have a leg and an ant has a leg, are the legs di similar? Definitely not. And Allah Azza wa Jal has the highest example. We do not Azza wa Jal simulate him to any of his creatures, but you believe that Allah is alive. So why don't you say that living is also part of human nature? Allah Azza wa Jal subhanahu wa ta'ala is alive. Allah Azza wa Jal is all hearing, all seeing. So Allah sees and Allah hears and I hear and I see. But there is no resemblance, none whatsoever, except in the description. Therefore, you have to believe in the things that Allah described himself, in the things that the Prophet described his Lord Azza wa Jal, and take it as it is without any addition.